How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be telling you how you can level up and star up your racers in Disney Speedstorm. The game recently went free to play and season 4 launched bringing a bunch of overhauls to the progression system and in yesterday's video I went over how you can unlock racers as fast as possible in Disney Speedstorm and today's video is going to be sort of now if you have a racer you really like unlocked how you can level them up to the max and star them up to the max hopefully acquiring your first 5 star racer after a bit of a grind. And so for today's video, I'm going to use Jafar as an example as he is my weakest racer at 1 star with 11 out of 20 shards on the way to 2 stars. And starting things off, one of the first and most reliable and consistent methods for getting stars for your racers is taking them into ranked multiplayer. If we go over here to the multiplayer section and you take a look at ranked, Looking at some of the rewards, not only do you get tokens, multiplayer coins, and upgrade parts, as well as some cosmetics, as you can see right here, you get shards for the character. There are four Jafar shards right there, five more up here, and then five more. And in ranks multiplayer, you don't even lose points until you get to rank 16. So that is like, what, 13 free shards you get? And then if you go past rank 13 into platinum and emerald and some of the higher ranks, yes, it does take a little bit of skill, but the payoff is there because you're getting tokens, multiplayer coins, upgrade parts, cosmetics, shards, just a lot of good rewards are available in ranked multiplayer. And if you're good with a racer, it's one of the best and most reliable ways in order to level them up and star them up pretty fast because there are 43 total shards up for grabs for every single racer in the ranked multiplayer rewards so you should definitely be playing this mode with whoever your favorite racers are honestly with everyone get them all to at least at least rank 16 you don't even lose points up until there now another way you can gain shards is by checking the limited events if we head into single player. As you can see right now, fortunately enough, Jafar has a limited event. Now this is a pretty inconsistent way to earn shards for a racer. Most racers in the game are not going to have limited events, but maybe sometimes you'll get lucky and a racer you really like does have one. For example, Jafar this season. Last season there was like Lilo, Captain Gontu, Celia May, Bo Peep, and a bunch of other racers. So just check the seasonal events occasionally and maybe you'll get lucky and the racer you really like has shards available in the seasonal events tab. Heading into the shop, this is where you're going to be getting most of the shards to start up your racers and one of the most consistent places. For starters, every time you unlock a racer, you will have their star up pack and max star up packs available in the shop. These do cost tokens, which is the premium currency in the game, so I would only recommend buying these if you really truly love a racer and have the money to spend. It's just something nice and you actually can buy both if you buy one and then before you reset the shop, immediately buy the other one. You have to buy them back, back to back otherwise you can't get both and yeah they're decent value one of the better things to spend your tokens on in my opinion especially if you really like the racer it'll get you 20 shards with each pack and then the max star up pack will get you an additional 20 shards which will leave you with a two star racer at level 25 which is actually pretty good you know it's not bad at all but where the real good stuff in the shop is is the daily specials as you can see it resets every so often you want to check every single shop reset because as you can see right here, I have Jafar shards in my shop today. I got lucky with those and just keep checking every single reset. It resets like three times a day and you'll just get lucky eventually and you'll keep getting shards for characters you like. In fact, the less characters and crew members you have unlocked, the easier it is to get the offers for the characters you actually have already and want to start up in your daily specials. And as I've mentioned in yesterday's video, season coins are very easy to obtain. If you're an active player, by playing through the Golden Pass, the Season Tour, and the Daily Coin Rush slash Weekend Coin Rush events, you can get around 2 million season coins every season, which is enough to basically get 200 shards for any racer, which is just absolutely insane. Obviously, you do have to get lucky enough for them to pop up in your daily specials, but it shouldn't be too hard, and as long as you just keep checking every day, you will get shards and they do add up. Trust me, it does take time, but you'll get there. I mean, after some dedication, for example, my Elizabeth Swan is now 5 stars, and after like 2 or 3 seasons of grinding and buying her shards in the shop, I got her at 5 stars, so it is very possible. 
And then you can also buy universal boxes. I wouldn't really recommend these if you're just trying to level up one specific character. They, they give you shards for everyone, so there's really no consistent way to grind shards from universal boxes. The season boxes are good. I wouldn't recommend spending tokens on them, but you will get free spins on these throughout the season just by playing through the Golden Pass and Season Tour. And if you really like Jasmine, Jafar, or Genie, who are all available in this box, it's a pretty good and consistent way to start them up. It will go away at the end of the season, just so you know. So if you really, really like one of those characters, then maybe buying those boxes is for you. I'm not sure. Personally, if you have a limited amount of tokens, to spend i would buy the star up packs before you start buying the seasonal boxes that's just me though it's totally up to you how you spend your tokens and just a quick side note you should do this exact same method for getting certain crew members up if you have a crew member that you really want to level up and you should level up your crew members you want to do the same thing of checking your daily specials over and over again oh, and try and get those crew shards now as for upgrading your racers, as you can see I have a ton of upgrade parts stockpiled, but if you need a certain upgrade part for a racer to upgrade them, you're going to want to press where you can find the upgrade parts, and as you can see it'll show you all of the different places you can get upgrade parts. It's a really handy feature and this is the best way to figure out how to get a specific upgrade part, but mainly it's going to come down to playing through limited events for all of the previous characters and for the current seasonal characters you're going to want to play through the season tour and the golden pass to get their specific upgrade parts. So for example, if we take a look here, Jafar, I do have it. enough to upgrade him. If we head over to single player into the limited events and we go down here, there are these rotational weekly events. And for example, if I wanted to do the daily challenge or the weekend challenge, with which it is right now on the weekends, this will give you general upgrade parts to upgrade all of your racers, the energy drinks, the energy drink duos, and the energy drink trios. You're going to need these to upgrade every single racer in the game, so you might as well play these every day and start stockpiling them. And maybe you'll get to like, after a couple seasons of grinding, you'll get to like where my account is at, where I literally have hundreds of excess of each of those. And then there are also these rotating weekly parts. So for example, this one will give me parts for Pirates of the Caribbean racers and for Mulan racers. So if I really want to try and do those, you're going to want to level up one of those racers and hop into these events doing as many objectives as you possibly can. You get like three tries every eight or six hours, I believe. Do as many of these objectives as possible. You have a week before it resets every time. And those will give you the upgrade parts you need to get your racers all the way up to level 40 after a little bit of grinding. Now another good way to get upgrade parts like I mentioned is the season tour. As you can see one of the best ways is these mystery boxes at the end. They give you random rewards. You can play them once per day and you get these random rewards from them. There's a lot of good upgrade parts, some crew member shards, but mostly look at that. All those collection specific upgrade parts, energy drinks, energy drink duos, and the class specific upgrade parts as well. So make sure you're playing through the season tour and completing the mystery boxes at the end. Like I've said before, the season tour is probably the best way to progress in the game between all the upgrade parts and shards and season coins. You just get so many good rewards from those boxes. Now that is all the information you guys need to know about starring up your racers and upgrading them as well. Let me know if this video was helpful and if you have any questions about how to grind your racers up. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Disney Speedstorm content and good luck on leveling up your racers. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.